got a 15 10. Let's see how we can operate in this game. Just going to capture, simple. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece, knight attacking the queen. It's 10 second increments, so we do have a bit of time to play with, but not too long. It's not a long play game. Queen's moved back, and um, at this moment in time, we're just going to bring this pawn here like we do to stop this pawn from attacking the knight when we come out to develop. All simple, straightforward stuff. So the movement of this pawn here, I'm hoping it's lost them a little bit of tempo in terms of developing their other bigger pieces, if you like. Going to just bring the bishop through, looking to castle. Do have this space here, but we're saving that. Let's get castled. And again, I'm hoping they've lost a little bit of tempo by pushing these pawns and not really developing these pieces here. We don't really have a key area to aim for, but if we keep them busy for a little bit, maybe we can improve our position. So I'm going to attack the queen with a smaller piece. And going to capture. Now we've castled, we can take the queen if they go for the exchange. Because they're thinking about it, it looks like they're not going to, so probably going to sit the queen here. B pawn's not really too juicy for them to attack because the bishop's protecting it, so probably sitting it here, still giving space for the white square bishop and the dark square bishop to mobilize a little bit. They might even go for the cheapy and think they're going to go here and look for the bishop attacking here. So those are the possibilities. Probably the cheapy, if they're out of all of those, probably the cheapy is better. For them. Oh my gosh, they'll come for the B-pawn. But the B-pawn is protected, like we said. That's because they're not coming for the B-pawn, they're coming for the E-pawn. Now that makes sense. So does that weaken them a little bit in any way, shape? Can we bring our queen here? The bishop attacks. And... No. If we attack, he takes the pawn. Looks like the bishop's going to act like a pawn. Maybe the queen comes across, but then his rooks aren't going to get there too quick. So I suppose we could do it with the queen. And then look to attack the queen here. So if we stay simple and just go with that one. And just a simple attack here towards their queen. Yes, we didn't see the e-pawn being able to attack. We thought the queen, if they came here, was coming for this. But it wasn't, it was coming for here. But, like we said, I think these two pawn moves here haven't really allowed their bishops to get into the game at the moment. And we're attempting to mobilise steadily, a little bit at a time, because of that loss in tempo. Okay, so we can still continue with this movement that we said. Because now they're trying to get the tempo back. I've got a queenside castling it looks like. So a simple exchange. Nothing great. If it goes queenside castling this pawn can be taken. So all we're trying to do is take advantage of. So it's going queenside castling anyway. And it's just making sure that this pawn doesn't get taken. Is there anything else that we can do? Could develop the bishop. Could bring the rook here attacking their bishop because if the queenside castle, mind you the king is still protecting the queen bishop. So don't want to waste a, a target point. This pawn is quite nice, kind of stopping the knight from jumping here. So that looks a little bit progressive in terms of forward thinking. Do you know what I think I'm going to go for simple? Just blocking off here because we don't have anything meaty to attack so whilst they're queenside castling maybe now we start pushing the pawn up and up obviously this pawn can't do anything but the higher up the board you get your bishop your pawns it, it looks quite tasty could link up our rooks just get the bishop here so i think we're going to do that first and then try and see if we can own this file 
with the rooks. Kings come across, so I'm going to take that opportunity to own, try and own the file with the rook, maybe get them doubled up on here. So all the while in my head, I'm just thinking there are two, two movements behind, two tempo, tempi behind. So if we keep doing positive moves in our own game, trying to improve our position, hopefully it'll stand us in good stead. It's not guaranteed to work, but you have to have some sort of methodology that you use. Don't want to block in our knights, but the knight's not at, under attack at the minute. Could bring the rook here. But it's kind of blocking the bishop, but the bishop can come here. Let's go here, we're looking to double. So he's going to need to bring his king back to support the bishop if he's not doing that, unless of course he's just going to move the bishop now. At least our rook is defended, so we can take the bishop. So he's gone for an attack on the knight, so the knight is defended, so that's no problem. So we're going to bring the rook here. To see if we can still maintain ownership of this file. I could say I don't mind doubling the pawns so long as it's to our benefit in a sense. Okay, so they have captured. So we don't we don't need to let the knight get taken, but we lose ownership of the file if we do, and plus he'll take our rook. So let's go with that nice and steady. Are they going to do it? Or are they going to treasure the bishops? Well, if they're thinking about it, it doesn't look like they're going to be taken. So they've got good management of this square with the knight, with the bishop. So it'll be a straightforward exchange if they bring the rook across here. What well, still in the back of my head? I oh, what's happening here? Well, that was not on the card, so we can go and attack the bishop. We can move the knight out of the way if we want to. Closing down the bishop, that makes that a bad bishop. Got a nice flexible knight. Maybe we could bring the knight back. Bring our bishop back defending the knight. Which is the better move? Which is the better move out of all of these? Du, 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 du. Has he left anything? This bishop's protecting that square, so it's doing a bit of a stealth job. I'm actually bringing the knight back. As soon as he's locking stuff down, well, kind of. Reducing down the spaces for his own bishops. We may as well try and take advantage of that. We're two tempi ahead. It's looking like it's looking to trap his bishop, but his bishop's just going to go back here anyway, isn't it? Let's just hit the bishop. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Jumps back to here, so they're contro controlling these squares quite nicely. So, oh, the bishop doesn't have any protection on it, though. So that's giving up a piece. Did you think the knight was protecting the bishop? These things happen. Doesn't mean we've won the game, but like we said in the early part of the game, we wanted to take advantage of the two tempi losses that the opponent created for themselves and we we're just trying to improve our position on the board. Again, this is an, um, an opponent error. You know, because they did have space to bring the bishop all the way back to here. Now we're going for a deep think. Okay, so they've moved the knight. They're still carrying on. Bishop can take the knight. Seeing as we've got more pieces on the board, we can look to reduce down. Take, king takes. Bring the rook here, attacking the bishop. Bishop, um can mobilize but I suppose it'll just go back but if it goes back then we x-ray through to the 
rook, then the bishop comes here, we take the rook off the board. Interesting times. Yeah, okay, let's just take. Let's just attack the bishop. Also attacking the pawn as well. You could look to lock us in. That might be a wise decision, but then we can start pushing, but then he can block down. So I'm not going to waste my time with that. Might just come across here and attack this pawn. This rook comes down to defend. Yep, so he's gone for the locking in type situation, which is quicker night jumping. So it's not going to get there. Push, he pushes. Let's just go and attack this pawn. And the rook comes down. It's not on a dark square. Now I think it's the time, to, um, to the, to the time for the knight to do something. It needs to find a valid square. So boom, boom, boom. But it's going to block us off. It's going to block us off with a pawn. But <clears throat> let's start the process. And what we're we missing here. If we take with this bishop. This is attacking our bishop with the rook. Okay, and they've resigned. 